Welcome to Kansas Ag Report with your host, Brian Holman. Welcome to Kansas Ag Report. I'm Brian Holman, and here's our lineup for today's show. In Ag News, we'll take a look at local and national headlines affecting Kansas farmers. In our Ag Feature, we talk with Kansas State Representative Ken Rogers, and he'll give us a legislative update. And inside Kansas Ag, we get an update from Kansas Soybean, and Kansas Wheat talks about U.S. hard red winter wheat. And the news you need to know, we get our weekly update from the Kansas Livestock Association, we'll look back at last week's market activity with the guys from Paragon, and we'll let you know about important events coming up around the state of Kansas. Glad you could join us. Closed captioning brought to you by Dick Edwards in Manhattan, selling America's number one truck, the Ford F-150, for over 30 years. DickEdwardsAuto.com Kansas Soybean Commission, the Soybean Checkoff. Progress powered by Kansas farmers. KansasSoybeans.org Ag Risk Solutions. Experience, knowledge, integrity. Your crop insurance solution, Ag Risk Solutions. Dick Edwards Auto Plaza in Junction City. Home of this year's Motor Trend Truck of the Year. Ram Truck. DickEdwardsAuto.com Here's our national headlines for this week in Ag News. A new strain of avian flu has been confirmed in a commercial turkey flock in Indiana. Denise Derrier with Indiana's Board of Animal Health says the farmer first noticed reduced water consumption by the birds and then found dead birds in the barn. Derrier says samples were collected and USDA confirmed highly contagious H7N8 avian influenza. This is the first time in the U.S. we found the H7 virus. Indiana's poultry industry ranks fourth nationally in turkey production, first in duck production, and third in eggs. The poultry industry employs more than 14,000 Hoosiers and is valued at $2.5 billion. The U.S. produced a record amount of soybeans in 2015. The USDA reports that the bean crop topped 3.9 billion bushels with an average yield of 48 bushels per acre. Planted area was at 82.6 million acres, with harvested area of 81.8 million. The USDA says record yields were recorded in Illinois, Iowa, Michigan, Minnesota, Nebraska, and South Dakota. In 2014, soybean production totaled 3.9 billion bushels, with an average yield of 47.5 bushels per acre, and on planted on 83 million acres, and harvested area of 82.5 million. Campbell Soup Company says it now supports legislation for mandatory GMO labeling of foods and has announced it will label whether its products contain or don't contain genetically engineered foods. Campbell's, as a member of the Grocery Manufacturers Association, has previously supported a voluntary national GMO labeling, but now the company says it supports mandatory federal labeling. The Grocery Manufacturers Association continues to support a voluntary system. Campbell says it believes the safety of GMO foods and continues to oppose state-by-state labeling laws. In the local news, all Kansas farmers are invited to the Kansas Commodity Classic in Manhattan on February 11th to gain in-depth information on grain markets, both local and globally, and national organizational updates on Kansas key commodities. Kansas Attorney General Derek Schmidt will be the featured keynote speaker. The Kansas Commodity Classic is an annual convention of the Kansas Corn, Wheat, and Grain Sorghum Associations and will take place at the Hilton Garden in Manhattan. The event is free to attend, but pre-registration is encouraged by calling 785-539-0255 or visiting our website at kansasweet.com forward slash KS Commodity Classic. Winter wheat seeded area for harvest in 2016 is estimated at 8.5 million acres, down from last year's seeded area of 9.2 million acres, according to the USDA's National Agricultural Statistics Service. U.S. winter wheat planted area for harvest in 2016 is estimated at 36.6 million acres, down 7% from 2015 and 14% below 2014. Seeding began early in September and remains at or behind the five-year average seeding pace through the middle of November when most seeding was completed. Kansas corn stocks in all positions on December 1st it was totaled 39.6 million bushels, up 4% from 2014, according to the USDA's National Agricultural Statistics Service. 
Wheat stored in all positions totaled 321 million bushels, up 34% from a year ago. Sorghum stored in all positions totaled 215 million bushels, up 38% from last year. Soybeans stored in all positions totaled 106 million bushels, up 1% from last year. Total grain storage capacity is comprised of 380 million bushels of on-farm storage, unchanged from last year, and 1 billion bushels of off-farm storage, up 25 million bushels from 2014. Up next in our Ag Future, we talk with Ken Rogers, Kansas State Representative, and he'll give us a legislative update. If you're watching Kansas Ag Report. Please stay tuned. This segment brought to you by Old Seed Farms, carrying soil-specific seed. Find them on the web at oldeseed.com. That's O-H-L-D-E seed.com. Kansas Livestock Association, supporting our members' business interests to meet consumers' demands. KLA.org. Grass and grain, online or in the mail. Keeping Kansas farmers informed for over 60 years. Grassandgrain.com. Kansas Wheat Commission, leaders in the adoption of profitable innovations for wheat. Online at kswheat.com. Dick Edwards, two miles east of the Town Center Mall on Highway 24. Biodiesel, made from sustainable resources, is diversifying our fuel supply. This year, biodiesel will displace over a billion gallons of fossil fuel nationwide. It's making our economy stronger and our communities healthier. It's working here and across America. Get biodiesel going in your community. Visit americasadvancedbiofuel.com. You need a partner that you can count on to be there for your business. Providing a depth of understanding to risk management issues so you don't have to. A knowledgeable support team located in your area, delivering products and services to make you more successful. You hear it all the time. Monthly payments of 289, 189, 189, or even 89. How is this done, you ask? Well, with large down payments, low mileage leases, and you must qualify for all rebates offered. Can we do this? Yes, yes we can. can. But we'd prefer to give you the straight, straight call, call, where we tell you all, all the, the information up front, and you make the decision on what vehicle and payment you want. You won't need bifocals to read the fine print here. Dick Edwards, serving the Manhattan, Fort Riley, and Junction City areas for over 30 years. Imagine having someone help you pick the best corn hybrids for every field on your farm. Your oldie representative can combine your data with his data to offer a field-by-field -field prescription. Contact Oldie Seed today at 877-692-4555. Thanks for staying with us this morning. We're joined by our newest representative in the Kansas State House of Representatives, Ken Rogers. You know Ken, I mean, he's been on the show several times. Yes. Lots and lots of times, actually. A few, several, yes. Been on several times. So, uh, first of all, congratulations, Ken. Well, thanks. I think the heat is on now. Instead of being the one uh, interviewing, I get to be interviewed. So, well, it's, it's quite an honor. Uh, it was a, a quick uh, turnaround when the representative uh, resigned, taking another position, and so, uh, uh, but uh, Kansas uh, works the way it is, and so I was able to be seated and uh, uh, started on the first day. Well, um, you're coming into uh, a very tumultuous time. I mean, uh, we've got budget issues, we've got water issues, we've got school funding issues, we've got a lot of issues, but first thing I want to ask about is, is the governor's state of the state uh, address uh, a week or so ago really praised agriculture for what it's done for the state's economy. I have to give the credit to the governor. I mean, the governor realized, of course, the governor is 
very much rooted in agriculture. And so uh, he understands that, uh, that one of the bright shining spots in Kansas continues to be agriculture, even though we are facing uh, some real concerns with uh, uh, commodity prices the way they are, Mother Nature being what it is. But so far, the, the weather, which has nothing to do with legislation, is coming out pretty good. And so the governor did point to that. Uh, a lot of folks have been involved in the water plan. We can maybe talk more about that and how that is being implemented. But uh, yes, overall, I think people in agriculture are still feeling pretty good. Well, if you look at what uh, what agriculture produces and what it drives here in the state of uh, Kansas, it, it I mean, it is the economic engine that drives the whole state. It is, and really uh, the economics of Kansas uh, based in agriculture, aviation, as well as uh, oil and gas. And so really all three of those are experiencing some challenges, which then means the whole state and others really want to create uh, maybe some things that, that show they are worse off than what they are. Things are working. They may not be working as fast as a lot of people do. And so that's where, uh, that's where a lot of those challenges come in. But as you said, especially rural issues, we have a lot of things to be, to be concerned about and look out for. Perfect. Well, let's jump into it. You brought up water. Let's talk about water. Uh, Governor uh, had his 50-year water vision a couple years ago. I know Tracy Streeter and his office has done a great job, and, and Jackie has done a great job of moving that forward. What's going on with that? Well, implementation is continuing, and we're continuing to f try to find more partners uh, that will be taking part part in that. There is some legislation going through this year, some things with water conservation, possible water banking, uh, really you continue to look at stakeholders of, of, of how they want to see the future of water. And everybody realizes that everybody has a stake. And I mean beyond just agriculture, but obviously agriculture is the one that a lot of folks focus on. But there are a lot of people all over the state wanting to make sure that water is available not only for this year's crop but also for their grandkids crop and so it's not going to be easy it's not going to be easy at all but hopefully we will be able from the state capitol put some legislation in place that will make it uh, better this segment brought to you by oldie seed farms carrying soil specific seed find them on the web at oldieseed.com that's o-h-l-d-e seed.com Kansas Livestock Association, supporting our members' business interests to meet consumers' demands. KLA.org. Grass and grain, online or in the mail. Keeping Kansas farmers informed for over 60 years. Grassandgrain.com. Kansas Wheat Commission, leaders in the adoption of profitable innovations for wheat. Online at kswheat.com. Thanks for staying with us. We're joined by Ken Rogers, who is the newest member of the uh, Kansas State House. Yes. Again, congratulations, Ken. It's, it's great to have you on the show. Um, I get to make you squirm a little bit. That's all right. So, I'm uh, ready. I bet you are. Uh, budget issues. Uh, we know when we left uh, last year, uh, we had a $127 million shortfall. I don't know if that's accurate or not, but too soon to tell what's going to happen. I think so. I think we'll continue to see the revenue numbers come in. Uh, really, since since the end of the year, we're, we're kind of waiting in the in the days to see how the end of the year shaped up. Uh, there was there has, they're proposing some transfers, some more transfers out of, of KDOT, but KDOT's been very efficient in, in, in what they've been doing. So we're still looking at all those different, different things about what's going to happen. There's there's some proposals for some user fees to help pay for some possible things. You know, we've got a lot of issues, and, and highway patrol is one. You think, well, what does that have to do with agriculture? What it does, it helps protect our rural parts of the state. So those type of things where rural folks can come together on that as well. Uh, as far as is there going to be some big movement in, in taxes or, or bring back the income tax uh, that, 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 is, that is ratcheted down, that probably will not happen. You've got to understand, this is a year that ends in an even number. That means it's election year. Everybody in the House and then now everybody in the Senate this year is up for re-election in the State House. So we will see what the political courage is to, to, to what, what's going to happen or are we just going to wait. There's a lot of other things. School finance, of course, is going to have a big impact on, on rural schools. There's a bill out right now that, that, that wants to consolidate some rural, well, some schools, and obviously it's going to pick rural Kansas. And so 
we're still we're still looking at some of those things and what exactly some that are that are supporting that want to do so but there's there's so much kind of going on and and, and I say that not to say that we're, we're not doing anything but we're uh, there was an efficiency plan that was done by the legislature started last year we just got it here a week ago everybody's kind of determining there's 105 different ways to save money in the state of Kansas and so part of those is trying to help you know, over the long term, make up for our uh, for our budget deficit. But you know, right now, you know, we, the Constitution says we have to have a balanced budget. So it's going to probably be a, once again another painful year for all of us. Right. If you would like to advertise your business on Kansas Ag Report, give us a call 785-580-3287. More than 225 soybean enthusiasts gathered January 6th in Topeka for the 2016 Kansas Soybean Expo. The Kansas Soybean Association organized the 35th annual event with checkoff funding from the Kansas Soybean Commission to coincide with the Topeka Farm Show at the Kansas Expo Center. The opening session featured updates from checkoff partner organizations. Then Evelyn Browning Garris and James Garris from Browning Media presented the keynote address, El Nino, the Blocked Atlantic and the Outlook for Kansas Agriculture. Attendees selected two of three K-State Research and Extension breakout sessions, Fertilizing for $8 Soybeans, What My Fields Can Do for You, or Cover Crop Effects on Soybeans. The featured speaker at lunch was Kansas Attorney General Derek Schmidt. The day's awards and recognition included the Kansas Soybean Yield and Value Contest winners. Those results are available at kansassoybeans.org slash contests on the web. Thank you for watching Kansas Ag Report. You have made us the highest rated ag TV show in the state of Kansas, and we thank you. Argentina may dominate the South American wheat market, but Kansas hard red winter wheat is no insignificant player. Together with U.S. Wheat Associates, the industry's export market development arm, Kansas wheat farmers are building markets in the Southern Hemisphere. The U.S. Wheat Associates South American Regional Office in Santiago, Chile, covers six countries, Bolivia, Brazil, Chile, Colombia, Ecuador, and Peru. Peru and Colombia consistently purchase the most hard red winter wheat in the region at respective annual averages of 14.3 million bushels and 12.5 million bushels. In the last 10 years, about 16% of all hard red winter wheat exports have gone to the six countries in this region. The population is growing and the economic situation improving in many of the countries. Those two things, combined with the long-standing relationship U.S. Wheat Associates and U.S. wheat farmers have with customers here provide a very optimistic outlook for increased hard red winter wheat sales. Watching for market opportunities and building the relationships needed to quickly take advantage of them is exactly why U.S. Wheat Associates is situated in South America. By regularly demonstrating the performance and quality of hard red winter wheat to customers throughout the region, U.S. Wheat Associates and Kansas Wheat further ensure Kansas hard red winter wheat is positioned in the right place at the right time to meet the world's demands. This segment brought to you by Oldie Seed Farms, carrying soil-specific seed. Find them on the web at oldieseed.com. That's O-H-L-D-E seed.com. Kansas Livestock Association, supporting our members' business interests to meet consumers' demands. KLA.org. Grass and grain, online or in the mail. Keeping Kansas farmers informed for over 60 years. Grassandgrain.com Kansas Wheat Commission, leaders in the adoption of profitable innovations for wheat. Online at kswheat.com Imagine having someone help you pick the best corn hybrids for every field on your farm. Your oldie representative can combine your data with his data to offer a field-by-field -field prescription. Contact Oldie Seed today at 877-692-4555.
Dick Edwards, two miles east of the Town Center Mall on Highway 24. The producer-funded Kansas Wheat Innovation Center was built to get improved varieties into the hands of farmers faster. Kansas Wheat, farmers advancing their future through wheat genetics research. I will take action against herbicide-resistant weeds. I will know my weeds, and I will stop them before they go to seed. I will do whatever it takes to give my crops the upper hand, and I will use multiple herbicide sites of action because every action counts. I will take action, this time, for all time. You hear it all the time. Monthly payments of 289, 189, or even 89. How is this done, you ask? Well, with large down payments, low mileage leases, and you must qualify for all rebates offered. Can we do this? Yes, yes we can. can. But we'd prefer to give you the straight, straight call, call, where we tell you all, all the information up front, and you make the decision on what vehicle and payment you want. You won't need bifocals to read the fine print here. Dick Edwards, serving the Manhattan, Fort Riley, and Junction City areas for over 30 years. You need a partner that you can count on to be there for your business. Providing a depth of understanding to risk management issues so you don't have to. A knowledgeable support team located in your area, delivering products and services to make you more successful. Here at Blue River Traders, we have the greatest selection of rustic and western furniture in Kansas. At Blue River Traders, you can select from an inventory of rustic lodge or western furnishings. With a designer on hand, Blue River Traders will help create the look you desire. Imagine having someone help you pick the best corn hybrids for every field on your farm. Your oldie representative can combine your data with his data to offer a field-by-field -field prescription. Contact Oldie Seed today at 877-692-4555. Council Chairman Harry Mosier of Wheaton recently announced final appointments to the Kansas Livestock Association Stock Growers Council Executive Committee. Mosier appointed Gene Barrett of Grantville, Corey Josephiak from Roselle, Daniel Mushrush of Strong City, and Leif Wilson from Uniontown to serve on the 11-member committee. Other members elected to the Executive Committee at the 2015 KLA Convention include Vice Chair Jessica Weltmer from Smith Center, Brent Bertrand of Wallace, Guy Bracken from Viola, Tyler Breeden of Quinter, and Kevin Schultz of Haviland. John Adams of Plains is the immediate past council chair and will serve in that capacity on the committee. The Stock Growers Executive Committee represents the interests of cow-calf producers, backgrounders, farmer, stockmen, ranchers, and landowners across Kansas. New members of the KLA Cattle Feeders Council Executive Committee have been elected or appointed as well. Joel Jarnigan with Green Plains Cattle Company was elected during the KLA convention in Wichita to serve as chairman of the committee. Jerry Cuckelman of Innovative Livestock Services will serve as the vice chair. Lee Reeve with Reeve Cattle Company of Garden City sits on the committee as the immediate past chairman. Others on the seven-member Cattle Feeders Council Executive Committee are Dave Latta with Pratt Feeders, Stephen Bagley with Sunbelt Feed Yard of Hugoton, Troy Sander of Heritage Feeders, and Jason Timmerman, N.A. Timmerman of Colby. The CFC Executive Committee serves as the leadership group representing the business interests of cattle feeders belonging to KLA. Good morning, I'm Cody Wintersheet with Paragon Ag Advisors. Well, now that we are solidly into the new year and what I'm sure many of you were hoping would bring with it renewed optimism into the grain markets, I'm sorry to disappoint, but the overwhelming sentiment in the commodity world is still very much bearish. However, personally, I'm still optimistic for the new crop year as we move forward, but there is no doubt to see significantly higher prices will need a weather event this year. So now is the time to be laying out the groundwork as to how and where you will be initiating sales and hedges for this 2016 crop. Even though things are very much doom and gloom, something will shake loose at some point and you need to be ready to act. Opportunities can come and go in the blink of an eye. This past summer's two to three week wet weather rally is a prime example of that. A couple of bigger picture items to take note of that could very well have a decent impact on things moving forward are the US dollar. 
which to us looks ready for a breakout in the next 30 to 60 days. And secondly is the massive short or bearish position the hedge funds have at play at this point. The grains have done a respectable job of digesting a tremendous amount of bearish news up to this point. And as we work towards the spring and summertime, the funds have an awfully big position of exposure if there were to be any headline changes like the weather. If you have any questions about the markets or would like to talk further about how to approach your marketing differently, give us a call at 888-452-8751. Thank you and have a great day. Captioning brought to you by Dick Edwards in Manhattan, selling America's number one truck, the Ford F-150, for over 30 years. DickEdwardsAuto.com Kansas Soybean Commission, the Soybean Checkoff, progress powered by Kansas farmers. KansasSoybeans.org Ag Risk Solutions, experience, knowledge, integrity. Your crop insurance solution, Ag Risk Solutions. Dick Edwards Auto Plaza in Junction City, home of this year's Motor Trend Truck of the Year, Ram Truck. DickEdwardsAuto.com Well, that's our show for today. I hope you'll join us each week for more news and information about agriculture in the state of Kansas. I'm Brian Holman, and thanks for watching. Imagine having someone help you pick the best corn hybrids for every field on your farm. Your oldie representative can combine your data with his data to offer a field-by-field -field prescription. Contact Oldie Seed today at 877-692-4555. Here at Blue River Traders, we have the greatest selection of rustic and western furniture in Kansas. At Blue River Traders, you can select from an inventory of Rustic Lodge or Western furnishings. With a designer on hand, Blue River Traders will help create the look you desire. Biodiesel, made from sustainable resources, is diversifying our fuel supply. This year, biodiesel will displace over a billion gallons of fossil fuel nationwide. It's making our economy stronger and our communities healthier. It's working here and across America. Get biodiesel going in your community. Visit americasadvancedbiofuel.com.